Hello! Welcome to my Intolerant Currently Inked uh, for March. So I've been having some pen struggles lately. I think I'm just having struggles all around, but uh, pen struggles as well. So I got a nib ground from Jose at the pen show on this pen and it was great at the show. It was great that night. I cleaned it the next day. I inked it up and it's insanely scratchy on one side. I don't know what's going on, but the same thing happened to Key. We're kind of thinking it must be something with the nibs. We bought the nibs brand new, um, broad nibs, but because I can't see anything, I have to wait till April 20th till our next meetup to have somebody look at it. So I just swapped out for my Franklin Kristoff, you know, medium sig nib. And then I noticed like I inked it up. There was no ink coming out. And this was like, I was like, why is there no ink coming out? This is really loose. And I looked, you know, I shined a flashlight through it and I saw that the rod was all the way up. And I'm like, what the heck? And so I like, hold on. It's broken. It's broken. The rod is stuck up there and this is broken. So um, quite a few people have helped me find like a Reddit post and Pin Boutique had like the email for repairs and Apparently, Opus 88 is really great at helping you out when your pin breaks. But I didn't do anything. Like, I don't understand why it's broken. Like, it, it just looked normal. And then, yeah, it wasn't. Um, so, yeah, this one is out of commission for now. And that's such a bummer because I was going to sell it. And then I tried it for a month and I fell back in love with it. And now it's broken. <laughs> Um, so the nib didn't work and the pen doesn't work and um, this one I kept losing I don't know what is wrong with it maybe it's just too tiny for me at the moment I don't know but I was it was making me really irritated and I wasn't getting along so this is the writing for that one it's all globby I don't know I wasn't getting along with this nib this is the I think number six pen BBS nib um I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of one of their calligraphy nibs. I was, not, I was just holding, I wasn't getting along with it. I don't know the patience. Um, this nib wrote pretty fat on here, but I was able to accept that. And uh, on this paper, on this 003 insert, but I just moved back into a, a old school Tomoe River paper insert that I made, and I uh, I don't want a fat nib. So this was the uh, architect that was done on a broad Schmidt nib. I just don't want a fat nib, so I took that ink, which was diamine grape, which I've had inked up for millions of years, and I stuck it in here because I'm not done. Um, and then this one is the architect that I had on the double broad. Again, that was fine, you know, when I was writing in here. But I, yeah, I don't want a fat nib right now. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm just I'm in a mood. This one, my comfort pin that I got, you know, that I inked up in January to help me out with uh, just some really fat nib trauma. <laughs> Anyways, this pen is burping all over me. It just did it again, and I'm like, enough. I don't know why. I don't care. I'm not going to look into it. It's just going to... It's going to the side, and I inked up something else. So the ink that I had put in here was... Um, yeah. I moved that. Where did I move that? Oh, I moved that into a Kakuno, because everybody keeps talking about their Kakunos all of a sudden in all the videos, and I was you know, doing that FOMO thing. I wanted to be just like everyone else. And so I dug out my Kakuno. That took some finding because I hadn't used that in a million years. So that's a medium Kakuno. And yeah, so this is kind of the lineup. Um, I didn't get a chance. So this is an extra fine Pelican nib. And this is an extra fine Schmidt nib. And that did kind of okay on the Midori or the Traveler's Company 003 insert, which was surprising because, man, this... This thing just kind of sucks up ink and hates extra fine nibs. I could not write with this one at all. 
um, it just, it was like the ink was skipping and everything. And I tried it back on Tomoe River paper and it was fine. It was glorious. So it was just that paper. I'm all done that paper for now. So I want to use this one and this one and this one on the Tomoe River paper. So those are being carried over. This one is being carried over because it's not done. This one um, is the vintage and it's got the 9128 kind of flexi vintage Estabrook nib in it. And my friend smoothed it out and it's, it's lovely. Of course, extra fine, wouldn't write on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that in here. Um, I just got a couple of new vintage nibs in to play with. Once this one runs out of ink, I'll just switch the nib. Maybe the ink color. Uh, but yeah, this one's staying the same. This one's staying the same. This one's staying the same. And this. So yeah, that is the lineup. Um, I'm going to pause because I can't remember the name of the color that's in here. And so I need to go find my little ink thing that I made and uh, I'll come back with my notebook. Okay, I'm back with Franklin Kristoff Model 20P with a Yovo 1.1 stub nib. So Model 20P, 1.1 stub. I'm struggling a little with this, but uh, this is Birmingham Pin Company Starfruit. And this is one of the samples I got at the London Pin Show. Traveler's Company Brass Factory Green with a Schmidt Extra Fine and that has Brass Extra Fine and that has Diamine Sell It on Cat and you may remember, if you watch my videos, that I was, you know, down on Solid on Cat for a while because it seemed super dry. I need to go back and look and see what pin that was in because in this extra fine, Schmidt, it's great. It's doing great. like it. And then we have the Pilot Kakuno. And I just inked this up, so I'm expecting to get ink all over me, but... Pilot Kakuno Clear. And this is a medium nib. And this is Birmingham Pen Company. <laughs> Where did I put the thing? Birmingham Pen Company Eroded Bronze. I like this color. This is Esther Brook, SD Cobalt. This is the journaler. Struggling to write at this angle. <laughs> With Diamine Deep Dark Blue. I had lost deep dark blue and deep dark purple um, for a while. I found it in my acrylic <laughs> paint drawer. Because, you know, why? This is. I've also been having some Bay New uh, Euphoria Earl Grey thing. So the only Euphoria I have is. Uh, Bainu Euphoria Love Story and the 
this is it a fine I also have a medium nib for this should I need it um, it doesn't come in extra fine which is kind of annoying the heck color is this again I just oh diamond grape of course it is diamond grape I like Schmidt nibs they are nice This is my Reader's Writers, and you probably only saw it for like one month after I got it at the last pen show, and then I didn't really use it because I, I wasn't so fond of this Bach nib. Um, but Annabelle worked on it, so this is my Reader's Writers. And this, oh God, Cadmus. original or classic crap you told me at the show and I can't remember now and this is a medium CS uh of CI medium cursive italic not smooth because I wanted some feedback because that was the problem I was having with the Bach nib it was like woo <laughs> this is Birmingham Pen Company Antique sepia. This ink looks kind of weird. It's got that thing like if you accidentally add a little bit too much white lightning, it gets kind of fat. And, I don't know. I like the color though. The color's cool. We'll see. We'll see how I go. I'm not going to fuss over anything. I'm done with fuss. And this is from last month. So this is my Sailor Broker Slim Sound of Rain Winter Rain. And this is 21K Medium Fine. And this is Burning Pen Company Pennsylvania Fieldstone. Still addicted to this ink. And as has been the case for ages, <laughs> this Esterbrook SD tortoise Esterbrook SD, and I was writing tortoise shell forever, but it's tortoise apparently. Tortoise. And this is my extra fine stub, also from Annabelle. She seems to really be able to grind things exactly how I like them. Um, and this is Birmingham Pen Company Sandstone. I didn't get to write with this at all last month, and that was making me really crabby. This nib. Love this nib. This is my... Um, and it writes kind of fat, but not really. Bone Crusher, Seven Studios. I'm just going to put GP because it's Galaxy Prime. And this is a, a good blue zoom nib. Love this nib. And this is Diamine Chocolate Brown. And I love this ink. Can't believe I'm using this ink paired with a different pen because it's usually in my E95S, but yeah, I don't know. Now what do I do with the E95S? I thought that they were like a bonded pair for life. This is my SD Evergreen that started out as a rollerball and now has the vintage thingamabob. <laughs> and this is... Okay, so S... Dirtbrook. I have to right with a little bit more of an angle to this because this brick SD evergreen this vintage nib is made to flex so vintage 9128 now <laughs> I'm twisting so weird right now it does it flexes um I just can't get in the right position to flex, so this nib might be a little bit wasted on me. So 
Diamine. Ancient copper. But never fear, because I've got, what, five other nibs <laughs> to try in here? So that's what this one's going to be doing for the next for the foreseeable future. It's just going to be trying different vintage nibs. So once this ink runs out, that's what I will do. This is my Pelican M205 Golden Barrel. And this is an extra fine. This is my extra fine Christmas present for my secret Santa. And this is Diamine Brandy Snap. And I just feel like this ink is the perfect ink for this pen. I mean, you can't really see the flex, but I can. I don't know. It just goes. For me, it goes. So that is my currently inked for March. There's this serious lack of green I may put green I will put green I think in the evergreen once this runs out I'm almost out like yeah <laughs> you can't even see it so it's, it's almost 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 out and then I'll put a green in there and then I and a different nib but I didn't want to kind of pour it out I wanted to play with this in the Tomoe River journal that I've sw switched to first at least write one entry and that's that. That's the whole story. And thank you very much. Bye.